Well, my watch says it's seven o'clock and it's time to start. So today I'm going to show you a new, well, let me make sure my volume's up full. Um, anyway, today I'm going to show you a new stamp set that is part of the new online exclusives. Uh, this is the flyer that I have to share with people. And is this one features the Flowering Zinnias Suite. The designer series paper has a variety of different colors and lots of flowers, very colorful. And the stamp set, it says you can use your favorite designer series paper for a card base. So it doesn't have to be this in particular. The colors are real red, melon mambo, petal pink, pumpkin pie, lemon lime twist, and old olive. Here on the back of the flyer, it shows some more things. There is an embossing folder uh, that has zin excuse me, zinnias in it. And along with that, all right, adhesive back, shiny sequins. Here's the stamp set, or the bundle, with the stamp set. It says, um, uh, um, something about gratitude, thank you much, and um, something about flowers for you. And it has some dyes to cut out the flowers and create some other images as well. Another one of the things that is available is Encircled in Nature Bundle. And it has kind of a twiggy um, ring, <coughs> sorry, a twiggy uh, wreath, and then it has trees that can be put along the edge of it, flowers and leaves, and, and several greetings that go along with it. And the dyes cut out that twiggy background. It's just, they are solid. And then this one is a, starts March 5th. And this is another picture showing a, a sample with the zinnia. There is a wonderful stamp set and dies with coffee. Um, it's latte art and it has all kinds of different things, um, designs that art, uh, latte artists, baristas can make in the top of the lattes. Another stamp set uh, bundle is this one. Um, it's a birthday bundle with a real cute wagon and you can make punch out the wagon as so that you have a 3D effect as well. And here is another picture of the um, coffee set. It has a die that makes the carafe and several little pieces um, to for the for the carafe. Along with it are some dots and some designer series paper um, that is uh, coffee themed. Then, in addition to those. There are some regular stamp sets. One is sweetly scripted, and this is um, a greeting only set. Um, there's fun patterns, um, embossing folders, and these are uh, two of them, and they are, are for the mini uh, st um, stamp and cut and emboss. Um, there's berry burst, old olive, and white glimmer paper, 12 by 12. Magnolia Mood Bundle, and this is a really beautiful magnolia flower and dies to cut it out. And there's Happy Little Things. It, um, it's a greeting set that's photopolymer. And there is a, um, a die to cut out um, a banner type thing that the greetings will fit in. And then there's a stamp set called Textured Timber, and it's a clean stamp set. It has a round, like a cut round of a stump and then it has a board um, a textured board and a couple other things that are part of that now tonight i ordered this comforting thoughts and i ordered it for one reason i have a friend who has just been diagnosed with breast cancer and these things are all perfect for a situation like that i'm here for you Cancer sucks, 
We're here for you. I'm so sorry. You can do this. You are not alone. Healing, peace, rest. I wish I could make this better. I don't have all the right words to say. I do have lots of love to give. Wish you comfort. Wishing you comfort. Hope this is a feeling better kind of day, which I think would be so encouraging with somebody who has good days and bad days. Thinking of you, praying for you, hoping with you. And this one I like too. There is no good card for this. So this is the stamp set I'm going to be using tonight. And the first one is for a ch I did for a design challenge. Somebody had made this kind of a, um, a design and then had the hummingbird here on the side. So I decided to do it up slightly different. I really love these dies. These are from the Thoughtful Expressions dies, and you get the variety of these scalloped circles, which I really love. These are nice pieces also. There's a die to cut out a flower arrangement. There's the hummingbird die, a couple of more floral pieces, and then there's some standalone um, leaves and flowers, and I'm using these two dies tonight. <clears throat> So the first thing is eight and a half by five and a half cardstock, scored at four and a quarter. I like to work it this direction. Get the cutting blade out of the way. While I'm at it, I have another card I'm going to make, also basic white, but also scored at four and a quarter. So I think I'll go ahead and score that one at the same time. Then we can set that paper cutter aside. We'll set this aside too. Okay, so what I liked about this card was that it had th four different sizes of the dies used. And the paper that I'm using <coughs> is the most adored designer series paper, which is free. Actually, it's specialty paper, and it's free during celebration. One side has kind of soft pinks, and the back side. Look at that, it has gold, a gold plaid. Here's another one of the designs, a swirled. And the back side is gold leaves. Aren't those beautiful? These are for free for a $50 purchase. You can't lose on this. Here's another, a red, and the color is, you'd think it was pink. It is actually um, a, uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Calypso coral? No, that's not it. And then it has the red hearts. Just a second. Flirty Flamingo. There, now I remember. And it has this beautiful hearts thing. And there's another piece that has gold swirls on it. So this one I cut out using the largest die. And I, I have already done that because with my mini thing... Oh, well, look at that. I thought that the die wouldn't go through there, but it does. That's good to know. <clears throat> and then I'm going to cut out one, a small one, the smallest one from the plaid. And the next largest one from the flower, the leafy one. And then finally, we're going to stamp on this and cut it out with still this size. So let's do that first before we do any more die cutting. Okay. 
And I'm going to use real red. That's the other color. Real red, flirty flamingo, and then gold. Oh, and basic white. So the greeting is... Aha. Uh -huh. I don't have the greeting here. I want to use... The thinking of you, praying for you, and hoping with you. It must be in the stamp set. Must be. Aha, there it is. And stamping it in real red on basic white. Actually, it's the back of one of the paper pumpkin uh, cards. No, one of the cards from the birthday um, book um, reminder notebook type thing. And I, I cut it in half and made a mistake, so I'm going to use it for this. Now we're ready to do our die cutting. And this one is the largest one. It needs some washi tape to hold it down. that and then the smallest one goes from this hmm that's not gonna fit there like that there And finally, <clears throat> the middle one, and I'm going to use this beautiful gold flower and it's hard to decide which, which side of this designer series paper I like best because both are so pretty. Celebration ends the end of February, so it's getting close. And there are some new items. If you already have 
gotten all that you wanted from the celebration brochure there are new items on the website that they have added that are from a um, couple are from the online exclusive and there's some from the annual catalog and so you might want to pick those things up you have to use the number that is part of the celebration one not the one that's in the catalog because if you use the one that's in the catalog you won't get it for free okay <clears throat> Then <clears throat> I wanted to have some flowers, and so got put already put um, uh, adhesive sheets on the back. Makes it so much easier. And I'm put and those they won't fit there. So I think I'll put them over here. I get as much of the flowers on the adhesive backing. I better stick them down. Normally I wouldn't, but I want to make sure. <clears throat> and then a couple of leaves. And these I don't have to worry about. I can just stick that there. Using the adhesive sheets is just makes things so much easier. <clears throat> and what I like to do is take a piece of each color cardstock that I use a lot of. Oh goodness! Well, I guess that's going to work. Um, and and just put like a um, half sheet and just put the adhesive on there. And then when you decide like now that I want to put some flowers that are real red on my project. I don't have to remember to put the adhesive sheets on. Because in the heat of designing, I usually forget. So now all we have to do is put it together. Got all the pieces. Hmm. So I missed, here I've got kind of a flat edge. But no worry, because it will be covered up. I just have to make sure that the flat edge is there. Put that one down, because this will cover it. And you could use Stampin' Dimensionals, but I want mine to be, this to be fairly flat so I can nail it. See how that just covers up the flat edge perfectly. This would have been kind of cute too, but I wanted a bit more pink. Okay, now for some little bit of embellishments. You know what? This is poking up. I think I'll put another piece on there. There, that's better.
take your pick tool is great for taking these things out of the die okay out of the die come on it just wants to stay in there it's very cozy I guess tonight We have a new dog. We got her in um, in the end of September, and we have had her in the kennel um, at nighttime instead of sleeping with us because I just couldn't quite figure out how I would be able to get two dogs into bed. Well, last night we went ahead. I went ahead and put her under the covers, and she loved it. But I don't think we got too much such a good night's sleep because I was constantly worried that. She was going to jump off the bed, as she actually did one time. We have a high bed, and I don't want her back. She's a dachshund, and I don't want her hurting her back. So I guess she's going to be sleeping in her kennel again. <laughs> so put the leaves here, like so. And then we'll put the flowers. I like the way the die cut out three little flowers at one time so that you didn't have to pass it through a whole lot. One there. Come on. There we go. like that actually I want this one over too if you're careful you can peel them back up a bit I like that placement better There we have it. Let's see. Did I stamp something on the inside? Nope, I left it blank. Oh, got to put some bling on it. Oh, got to have some bling. I could use these red ones. Actually, I think I will. I tried to color some with the um, flirty flamingo. They didn't show up too well. So I'll just go ahead and use these little red ones. They were previously colored. These are just the white or the clear basic rhinestones and they're great for coloring with um, Stampin' Blends. Come on, get in the spot where I want you. Uh, they're great for Stampin' Blends to color them so that you can get any color you want to go with your project. Just have to be careful that you're not too rough with the brush end of the Stampin' Blend because they will fray the end. Okay. Where did you go? There you are. three little rhinestones and this is a quick card and um, I think it will cheer somebody up who's going through a hard time so next I wanted something else I wanted to use the cancer sucks card and I love this stamp set hey Chuck with the crazy birds and there's a skateboard this is in the annual catalog and they are really crazy roosters uh, they co coordinate with the retired hay chick stamps but I wanted this one I wanted him 
running and just yelling if cancer sucks. So this is a simply a very simple card with just stamping. Okay. Front and center, where is the card base? There it is. And I'm going to use this chick and this rooster and the I'm going to use Stampin' Blends to color him a bit. And you can use Memento ink to um, to color, and the Memento ink will not run. But I've also discovered we have that our regular classic inks don't run very much either. So I am using Pebbled Path. Gives a little bit of structure, but not as much as the... That didn't do too well, so I'll turn it around, and we'll try that again. I kind of changed my mind in the middle of stamping him. There. <clears throat> now, I wanted him to look like he was yelling, cancer sucks. That's why the lines, but I'm going to improve on those lines this time. I'm going to stamp the greeting with real red. Like that. And I'm going to color him with his beak and his legs are going to be daffodil delight dark. I love coloring with the Stampin' Blends because you can see through, you can see the lines and the, and the grading and texturing and stuff like that through the, um, through the color because it is a more transparent one than the Stampin' Right markers. Let me show you what I mean. So this is the, that's that thing hanging down, and his tongue, I want to make him a red tongue, color his feathers, his tail feathers and his head feathers red. Just add a little bit of color to the card. This is a card that a person, a new stamper, could easily make because it just requires stamping three times and doing just a little bit of coloring. And then I wanted it to look like he's yelling this, and so I'm going to draw some lines. His mouth. I'm just using a regular pen because the black marker was not was a little bit wider than what I wanted. Cancer sucks. Yeah, that looks better. I think that looks much better than my original one. That's the way design things go. Okay, so you see here on the back, the Stampin' Blends will soak through the paper. 
And to cover that up, I have a scrap of designer series paper that was from Be Mine. And I'm just going to put that over. That's why I wasn't too worried about that. Because I was going to cover it up with these, this striped paper. On the inside, I'm going to use There Is No Good card for this. You can't very well you can't find a card. So, if you need any of these supplies, I urge you to come March 1st, uh, March 5th, go check out those online specials, uh, exclusives. My store is creations by sue.stampinup.net. If you can't remember all of that, Go to my blog, SoggyStamper.com, and on the upper right-hand corner is a shop button, and you can that will take you to my store, too. I'll put this video up on YouTube tonight. I right, thank you for watching, and have a wonderful weekend. Goodbye.